It's time for another motherfucking dose Talking daily with another fucking episode He's high as beard is fly Tell me off a piece of that shish berry pie Oh yes, yes, yes indeed Welcome everybody to Token Daily, I'm in here, I'm here in Florida, in a real studio. I have lights, I have a real camera, is that a Mark V? Mark, Mark III. III. Freaking a boom mic right here that y'all can't see because it's, you know, professionally done, professionally produced. And your first Cuban coffee. A, a, a Cuban Aww. coffee. This thing, <laughs> it's damn good. It, Steve asked me if I wanted a Cuban coffee. I'm like, well, I like coffee. Um, so sure, let's do it. We're in Florida, make it Cuban style. Miami style. Liquid crack right there. <laughs> and my, my first impressions are, it's pretty damn good. I mean, regular viewers of my show know that I'm a fan of my soy chai, and it's certainly different than a soy chai, but it's, yeah. it's damn good. It has that deep flavor of the coffeeness to it, and it's so good. So first ever token daily episode in Miami. Yes, yes, that's it's, or second because well, you, you yeah second I did episode. The phone episode yesterday. I don't. I mean, it's a real show, a real episode, but this is much different. It's using a real camera, so it's the first real show. Cool. Here in we'll Florida. take second episode. Yes, we'll yes. take second. Episode. So, anyways, um, for those of you who may not know, this is Mr. Steve Burke, who has run for the mayor of Miami Beach twice. Is it? Twice. That's Twice dude. I've lost. <laughs> hey, hey, cheers, sir, for, for at least trying. Yeah. He, he's trying to do a great job here for the people, for the city. It, he's a man with the plan. And also his girlfriend's Briley Hale. Yeah. For, for you viewers who have maybe clicked over here and watched any of their shows, you may be familiar with, with the two of these people and perhaps with this background, with the, the whole setup here. One thing we forgot to do, we're going to take a commercial break right now because we are in Florida and there's certain things that we can't show. So you guys should also take a break and we'll meet you back in about 20 seconds. Whew. I don't know what it is, but we just taste better when you're on vacation. Um, well, not a full vacation, a work vacation at least. Um, but being that we are here in Florida uh, with natives of Florida, I mean, are you both natives of Florida? I, I am not. She's not. Okay. I, know <laughs> I do not stay claim to this brother, land. You, you actually said before that you have lived in Colorado, right? Yeah, I lived in so, Colorado for a while. I have family there. It's definitely my favorite place. I was born in Arkansas. Right on. It's, it's always fun meeting people from all over the United States because, I mean, so many different areas, so many different cultures all kind of come together for for the sake of Miami's a unique together. place culturally because uh, we have so many different like nationalities in one city and becomes this big giant melting pot of cultures and uh, people don't even realize that uh, English is not the the dominant language in Miami. Uh, most the majority of the population in Miami speaks Spanish and I think it's 70 percent Hispanic, 52% Cuban and 18% the rest of South America and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So uh, white people are actually, uh, Caucasians are, are very much the minority here, but that's why I love it. It's not that I don't like white people, it's just uh, it's just cool. It's got a different vibe and there's no, so many different cultures and like there's so many different traditions and you kind of learn a little bit about everybody. So. But you know, there's yeah. a little bit of that in Colorado. I find that I was meeting people from all over the place that live there. Now, when you said that you know Miami is a melting pot, I was already thinking that in my head, but then I thought, Denver is too, but they are completely different. Like They're Denver different. is predominantly white. Right. I mean, that is the the major race dominance, but right. that doesn't mean that there's not everybody else. It's got a huge yeah. Asian influence and it has a huge uh, South American influence as well. Mm -hmm. Just not like here, like here, mm -hmm. everywhere, like driving around in the streets. It's crazy seeing the, the cultural differences. It's very Surprisingly, apparent. no Asian people really in Miami. Really? Surprisingly, yeah. there's not a big Asian influence down here, hmm. uh, but you know, it's it's definitely the melting pot. It's the yeah. hottest place in America to smoke weed. So uh, <laughs> it, it is, uh, but it's awesome down here, and there's very much a big culture uh, down here in the in kind of like the artist community and music community, and you know, this is a very coming up, even though the laws here make weed very very illegal. Uh, there's a huge uh, pot culture. Yeah, there really is. I mean, I know that just from, from you viewers out there who tell me that you're from Florida, who when I look up my analytics, I see that Florida is the number, is it number three or four? It bounces between that. Um, so I mean, you're, you Florida viewers out there, 
<laughs> Thank you. Cheers. I mean, Cheers. You're out there. And, and obviously an important message to all your viewers in Florida that November 4th is the day that you can vote on legalizing medical marijuana. Actually, I'm wrong. You can vote now. Early voting is happening every single day. Check the, the, the hours. But now, yes, with that, a big vote. Um, is registration still going on? Are they able to... No. If you weren't registered to vote by yesterday, you can no longer register to vote. Uh, but if you are registered to vote, you can vote today. And uh, you can vote early. So please make sure, you, not only do you vote, but you take that active interest in making sure your friends go and exactly. vote. Exactly. Take the initiative. Make sure your friends vote. Tell them to tell their other friends to go and vote. Because it's easy to say, I'm going to vote on this. So actually do it. Just go and do it, yeah. right? Because Don't just say it. it's, it's really important. This state is perhaps the most important state and the most important domino in getting all the dominoes to fall. It's the first southern state uh, with a real chance of passing this law. So, um, you know, please come out and vote. We don't want to bore you to death with, you know, begging you to vote. But, like, this is really important. The whole country is watching us. And if we become the first southern state to go green, uh, it's going to be huge. So... Indeed, indeed. Um, so, I mean, enough kind of uh, businessy talk with you all. So let's maybe talk about what my plans are when I'm here in Florida for the next yes. week. Um, Paul what Token we does like, Florida. <laughs> That's the next week yes. for all you guys. It's going to be exciting. Um, I don't really, we don't ever really like to make plans. We're pretty spontaneous. But, but, I, am. but I got a phone call today. I think Never. we uh, may be meeting Simon Rex, a.k.a. Dirt Nasty, tonight. Uh, he's a white, funny rapper. You can look him up on YouTube. Um, tomorrow might be uh, more of a chill day. Go to the beach. Hopefully we'll have nice weather. Uh, it's a bit rainy all day today. Got a yeah, cloudy it's weather right now. It's been rainy. Day. Yeah. And then so Thursday, sad. I think we're going to take a day trip to Orlando and go to Universal Studios and do a show from inside Universal Studios. Now that sounds interesting to me because I've never really been to any place like that. I mean, I have as a kid. I went to um, Universal Studios and Disneyland in California. Um, but I mean, It's so a, much different now because yeah, I was a kid technology has changed, right? And think about... Some technology of everything exactly and so that's now right. they're you know these theme parks like mm -hmm. universal and disney world they compete like that's capitalism and so they're investing more and more money into new rides and new uh -huh. additions to the park and orlando just keeps growing bigger and bigger as a tourism economy it's the number one tourist destination in the world it's the number one convention destination in the world mm -hmm. and uh and universal studios has like all these amazing adult rides it's gonna blow your mind yeah that's what yeah. i'm really looking forward to because like i said so much fun as a kid i went on the fun stuff but that was a long time ago so i'm i'm wanting to do that now as an adult and Oh, have fun dude. With it. This is going to be oh, a yeah. fun, fun token daily then because we'll, we'll shoot updates uh, of your reactions <laughs> throughout the day. Yeah, we'll strap a GoPro to your head and do token daily from a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, day. no, for sure. We can like strap a GoPro right on you. you know, and I've and never done that. I've never had the GoPro experience where I, I just did that. And I've always we wanted to. How about that? Special so, token daily GoPro good. edition of Paul on the rides, which Harry Potter, <laughs> you're going to literally feel like you're yeah. playing Quidditch. Transformers, mm. that ride is... Oh man, so every, it's, it's not just anyway. Paul actually, who this is his first time going to the park, but several of the guys on the 4TT crew have never been to a theme park of this scale with this ride, with these kind of so rides. We have a, our, our director of photography, Stian, he's Norwegian. He's only been to like a small Norwegian uh, theme park in his life. He's never seen something like this. Uh, Lee, one of our writers, he actually, <laughs> this is gonna be his first time here too. So it's gonna be fun. Everybody's gonna have a first time experience. That's awesome. And, uh, and so that's Thursday. Right and on. then the weekend, who knows, man? It's Miami. It's going to be awesome. Now, there's one thing I do have to get done here, being that I am here. I really want to have a, a viewer meetup. Um, so I'm thinking possibly probably this weekend, um, maybe Sunday. Um, to make you know what? It would be awesome. People. Yeah, viewer meetup would be great. And if anybody also wants to come and be in one of our videos... We're going to shoot something on Monday. So come join Paul, Briley, myself, all the 4TT crew. Come on Monday. We're going to shoot a video. Um, and we need people. So, yeah, meet up Sunday, Monday would be great. Yep, yep. Um, so stay tuned. I'll figure out exactly when and where it's going to be so I can give you a time and a place. And it'll be cool. It'll be fun. And, I mean, there's a lot of y'alls out there. So come. Let's kick it. 
Blitz. Have a good time. Yeah, check out uh, yeah. Confirm on my Facebook yes. page. Hit him up. So hit me up if you want to be a part of the production. We're going to do uh, a spin off and, and give you food and give you uh, some other things. And it's going to be enjoyable, and we're going to shoot everyone's reactions. <laughs> so hit me up on my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Steve Burke Comedy. C O M E D Y. Can spell comedy, right? And uh, and yeah, and then we'll coordinate and we'll we'll set this up for Monday and we'll shoot a really fun video with all the fans. I think it'll be a good time. <laughs> <laughs>